Okay, guys, the moment you all been waiting for. So, we got the Pro 15 all apart. Uh oh, shit, that could have been really bad. Freaking tripod. Mr. Gimpy. Burp. It's like a drunk, it just can't hold itself up half the time. Or like when you know how you have like a kid and their head is like too big for their body? Same idea. Alright, so, we got our homemade connecting rod. I'm using my other phone. So I can snap a few photos of the what's going to be going on here. All right. Okay, let's get it started here. Well, disassembling. And pull that sleeve out. Put that guy over there. This is our original Pro 50. This is the one that you guys have seen me do all sorts of wacky shit with. See, there's our original. You can tell because of the bushing in it, if you'll focus. There we go. So we're going to put that off over here. And pissed me off today, guys. So I was going to, I woke up this morning and I thought, man, it's a really nice day. It's nice and sunny and, and really nice out. I'm going to, I'm going to go out for a burn, right? I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, burn some tanks and stuff. It's going to be freaking awesome. And then disaster struck. It started to hail and it started to rain big time, like sideways raining. It's like snaining. It's crazy. Okay. So. Uh, trying to show you what I'm guys show you guys what I'm doing here so I just put some uh, we're just gonna need some clots castor oil I already got some fuel in the tank it's just my homemade 0 10 so 0% nitro 10% oil I actually did add a little extra uh, castor oil to the party since why not so it's probably sitting around like 14 or something I'm assuming I have no idea I just kind of like added a couple ounces Couple shots. So. Hey, a prick job. There we go. Ah, gotta stop down. Hold on, guys. Well, not sure what's different between this engine to the other one, but that connecting rod was a real big pain in the ass to put on. And is binding and super tight. Like, like, I have to put quite a bit of force there to rotate that over. So I don't know what exactly why that's like that. But I don't care at this point. I'm going to force the son of a bitch to work. I'm just going to spin it over a bunch with some oil. Maybe it'll loosen up on its own. I have no idea. But went on perfect in the other engine. And now this one, it doesn't want to fit. So I don't know. But uh, it's in there. You can see it. So I'm going to pause. And I'm just going to keep spinning it over until it frees up. <laughs> I don't care at this point, it's just an experiment. So the problem is that I'm running into here at the moment is that the bottom of the rod is a little bit fatter than the original. So it's kind of making contact with the starter shaft and making the engine bind up and lock completely when I put the back plate on, which is super irritating, which I didn't take into consideration. And now, because of whatever reason, that rod, I cannot get it off the crank, which is super fun. So it's really tight to turn over. Um, so I'm going to try and figure out what to do here next, and then I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, well, we're getting there slowly but surely. Just the parts are all kind of a serious interference fit. So I've just been kind of nicking little bits away, kind of pestering around a little bit, trying to get everything to fit in there, and it's been a real big pain in the ass and pretty tedious. I've been out of here now for about 30 minutes. Which I don't have that much time in my phone to, to uh, spare, so I'm just going to go in with it. And uh, once I get everything to kind of be free together, I will turn the camera back on and you guys can watch that. See you in a few. Oh boys, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. I guess things are just taking a little longer than expected here, unfortunately. Because everything's wanting to be kind of a friction fit, like I mentioned before. But... I'm going to keep at it, keep pushing forward, until everything fits and works together happily ever after. It's just kind of a 
real real annoyance when you want to just get something done but there's always something holding you back i mean you know i should have taken more material off but i didn't now the rod's stuck on the crank and i can't get it out but it's in there for good now so if i want to get it out i'll probably have to cut the rod in half which i don't really want to do but hey there's a first time for everything right shit happens not the end of the world it's nice and loose in there now on the bottom anyway yeah, it's, well, I mean, it's still fairly, I guess, snug. I wouldn't say really too snug, but it's got enough snuggins on it. It's just when I put the back plate on is when it kind of gets a little bit more snugger than I'd like it to be. But, I think, uh-oh, did I lose a gasket? No, I didn't. Okay, good. It's always like that, oh, shit moment. Yeah, it's just, that rod in there is just awful tight. Tight fitting with the uh, starter shaft there, so that's a little bit irritating. But, actually what I might even do is just, just buff this a little bit with a little bit of 800 grit and just maybe take its uh, diameter down a little bit, or surface area. Smoothing it out, you know what I mean. Okay, it looks like we're getting somewhere now. It's freed up now. I can spin it by finger. It's got a good pinch at the top. So, uh, I will admit, what I just did was probably not the smartest idea, is it got stuck, and I just put my drill on here and just spun the shit out of it. <laughs> um, just to see if I can get the parts to kind of self-machine. Um, that's a really stupid idea. But, at this point, um, who cares? So, I'm going to go clean this guy out again, and uh, I'm going to go put the cylinder head on, and... We're going to go and see if we can get it to fire up. Anyways, guys, hang tight. Okay, boys and girls, it is working. So now, I'm just going to put the rest of it back together. And, we're going to fire it up. Be right back. All right. So we got our old piston and sleeve here, the original. Just to show you guys I'm not bullshitting you. Turn it over. So we're going to both slap the cylinder head on and go and fire it up. I think I already said that, but we're going to get up right now. Okay, boys, here we go. Primed. Compression. It's a lot more. It's awful cold out here today. Come on, you old bastard. I'm gonna pause for a moment. Oh, I had signs of life. It's kind of flooded. I think it's because it's pissed me. Yeah, it's not that it much compression. This person's seen a shot. Uh. Well, good enough for now. Um, yeah, it hardly has any compression at all. Barely. Let's leave a shot. Oh my god, it worked. It lived. Ow, it hurts to kneel down out here. Oh, joy to the world.